Hey guys, what's happening? This is Forgo Nation. Today we're going to talk about Sharon Rogers. My girl. God almighty, I love this girl. My favorite character in the game, guys. Not in comic books. Not in comic books. But in the game, she is the kingdom come, in my opinion. You know, I mean, yeah, ever since Doctor Strange came in with his tier 3, he replaced her against Cole Obsidian. He's blowing her away in that. But she still is the meta for Thanos. In my opinion, she's still the meta, guys. And as far as she's also the meta combined with Deadpool and White Fox for Proxima and Corvus. She's the only character with Deadpool and White Fox, you know, that's a caveat to that, that can do the maximum stage, stage 99. She's the only one. But before I say anything more, I just want to let you guys know, if you're on my friend list, or, you know, for, uh, in the game, Contact me in Discord if you need help in GBR. I'm gonna it's gonna be on a first come, first serve basis. The first people to contact me will be the first people that I help. And I'm gonna be trying to use Gene Gray. I'm gonna run it till the end, and then I'm gonna try to force close the game so I can keep replaying Gene Gray to help other people. If for some reason I am a little late on force closing, we end up defeating Galactus too quick, then I'll just use my other characters like Sharon and whoever have you. Um, yeah guys, so just make sure you get a hold of me in Discord, contact me there, and I will try to invite you and see if we can get it done. Hopefully the servers will be better this week, hopefully we'll be able to play and get in there and connect. Uh, you know, last week was a hell of a time, so hopefully we can get in there and get at it guys. So let's get talking about Sharon. Now Sharon, I got a love, a lot of love in Sharon guys, she holds a special place in my heart. This was the very first tier two that I ever did in the game. Uh, this uniform, the Starlight Armor, was the very first uniform that I ever bought. And when I did those things, I was completely free to play. So she holds a very special place in my heart, guys, big time. This girl's done so much for me in Marvel Future Fight that it's not even funny. There is no character in this game that can even come close to what she has done for me. All the grinding that she's done. This is a girl I used in all my story missions. I mean, this is a girl I completed my first world bosses with. This girl is just monstrous. And even now, you know, thankfully this is one of Netmarble's babies and they take care of her, you know. And she is just an amazing powerhouse. Now let's run through the build real quick. She has 42,000 energy attack. She has max attack speed, more or less, close enough. She has Almost 50% crit rate. She gets 25% crit rate from her fist skill, so that's pretty much going to be maxed out when I use the fist skill. She has more or less max critical damage, max ignore defense, and max skill cooldown. And she has this leadership, which we will be utilizing so we can use White Fox and get her passive. Sharon has all 5-star Urus except for her energy attack. Her energy attack Urus are 6-star. All of her slots are amplified. Like I said, guys, I got a lot of love in old girl. All of her skills are at 6, and the thing that makes Sharon so godly really is all of her skills, but her tier 3 really is the insane thing. I mean, this thing is crazy. You get that freaking immunity bubble that keeps refreshing, similar to Nick Fury's immunity bubble on his fifth skill. You also get this increased damage by 110%, guys. And what's even better is you have this 100% increase of charge rate to accumulate true damage effect by 10%, by 10 seconds, sorry. So when you hit your third skill to get your damage accumulation, you will automatically get the maximum accumulated damage, guys. You're gonna get 225% extra damage on top of the 110% damage bump for one attack. That is bonk Oh, She is the only character in the game that gets the automatic maximum accumulated damage on a tier 3 skill. She's the only one. She is ridiculous. So when you hit this 3 skill first, you get the accumulated damage, but when you hit your tier 3 after it, it maxes, it maxes out automatically. You don't even have to take damage. Which is insane guys. Totally Bonko. She has a stage 12 overdrive set, fully awakened guys, and this is the set to go with in my opinion. You could go with uh, Power of Angry Hawk, but I would go with overdrive. And she has a CTP of energy, and this is something that makes her very unique amongst a lot of the other characters. This girl with a CTP of energy 
can get it done in all the PvE game modes. She can do all the world bosses, not because she has an energy, but just because she does physical and energy attack, but mainly energy attack, but but because she has so much power, so much burst damage on that tier 3, the damage proc works beautifully well. It synchronizes beautifully with her. And she just is monster. I mean, she can take down GBR. I mean, last week, I did Galactus in 2 minutes and 40 seconds, guys. And I think, and I'm pretty sure she could do it even faster than that. That's insane. With a, with a damage proc? It's, that's insane, guys. Tell me another character that can do that. Tell me another one that can do it. I don't know if any can. I think there's other characters that can, you know, get it done in GBR with a damage proc but they're not gonna do it like Sharon and she has a mythic uni so guys let's take her into Thanos the maximum stage where I'm at and let's rock and roll so here we are guys we're gonna try stage 49 this is the maximum where I'm at as far as against Thanos and yeah guys very tough very difficult we're gonna get a uh, Nick Fury's attack buff, we're going to stay in the bubble, we're going to hit the 3, then the 5, then the 4. Look at that damage. Now guys, whenever you go into Nick Fury's bubble and then you hit your 3 skill, hit your immunity, your immunity will actually get cancelled because of Nick Fury's immunity. But, Nick Fury's immunity will keep refreshing, so you'll still have immunity. If you notice, I didn't take any damage at all, so I stayed in the bubble. Now, I'm going out of the bubble. You know, usually when I start to fight against Thanos, I stay in the bubble the first time, and then after that, I always go out of it. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Take some damage there. Not that it matters, because we're going to get the maximum cumulative damage when we hit our Tier 3. And yeah. You know, this is, guys, this is the only character, on, on my roster anyways, with the builds that I have, that can do this. She's the only one that can do Stage 49. I don't have any other characters that can do this. I mean, there's characters that can, you know, come close, and they, they're up there, but they're just, I mean, I don't know. I mean, it could be just me and my gameplay, but, you know, I just do better with Sharon. I love playing her, man. Love it. And we're going to run up here. We're going to get to Nick Fury. Switch to him. And we're going to get that attack buff again. Okay, let's run out of the bubble here. There we go. We're going to hit our Tier 3. And booyah. And every time you know you use Sharon's tier three, you got that immunity bubble that's up right now, guys. Now the thing about it is I went out of it because you when the immunity bubble's up, you have the maximum accumulated damage, but when it goes out, the damage is gone. So the thing is if you hit the three skill while you're in the immunity bubble, you'll lose that maximum accumulated damage. You'll start taking damage from the very beginning, guys. So, if you want to use your 4 and your 5 skill while you're in the bubble, don't hit your 3 so you because you'll already have the maximum accumulated damage. But if the bubble's gone, then you want to hit the 3 to start accumulating damage. It's a little tricky with those Sharon, so we're going to get our attack buff again. We're waiting on Thanos to see what he's going to do. Yeah, that little punk. So we'll get him after this. Hopefully he doesn't go in an iframe. Let's get our attack buff. There we go. Run out. And we got that attack buff with all of Shirog's power guys and this is how you do it man you want to utilize Nick Fury's pat, uh, attack buff as much as you can especially right before a tier 3 that's how you get it done especially in these high high levels like this come around all right let's run 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 oh crap I took a got smacked there it slowed me down let's switch to Nick boom get our attack buff Boom. Now there I kind of messed up. I shouldn't have hit my th immunity while I was in that bubble. I could have taken damage, but got a little lucky there, guys. Now we'll get him. Hopefully he doesn't go in. Well, we'll wait. Ah, smart. Good forego. Good forego. Try to avoid all this if we can. Ah, oh, crap. I got caught by the tornado. Son of a gun. Okay. And one thing about Shirog that is a pain, guys, is her targeting. I mean, her her targeting on her 4 skill and her tier 3 can really be wacky sometimes. It can be a massive handicap and the biggest, you know, problem with her. It, 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 it really can be a pain. Ah, crap, I got caught in tornadoes again. You be a little careful there. Let's pick up some heals. 
But other than that, I mean, it's not that bad, man. She is amazing. We hit our three, take a little damage from Thanos there. And you see right there, I just hit my five because I knew the tier three is ready to go. All I gotta do is hit the three and then the five and then I'll hit my tier three. Now I'm hitting that five skill to get that extra 25% crit rate, guys, so I can max out my crit rate. Come on now. Boom. Now there, right there, guys, while I was in that bubble, my bubble canceled my immunity on my three. So I really should have ran out of that bubble at that point, but eh. Can't always be perfect. You gotta make mistakes sometimes. But we're still doing pretty good. Let's get out of that bubble. There we go. Took a little damage. Alright, he's throwing some crap at us. There we go. Well, I couldn't switch uh, White Fox fast enough. But we still got Nick. We're in good shape. All we gotta do is get that attack buff. Let's wait for Thanos. See what he's gonna do. And when you're fighting Thanos, especially in the last couple phases, guys... You really just kind of want to wait and see what he's going to do. Because a lot of times they'll go in a stupid iframe and then you'll just lose out on a ton of damage if you use your tier 3. So it takes a bit of practice, but as you can see, you can get it done. And I'm not going any higher than this, guys, because I'd have to pay crystals. And I'm just going to wait for a character to come along that's even more powerful than her that can do this a whole lot faster. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one.